been a couple days. But I'm back, boys. So I kind of learned one thing about this game, this uh, thing series. Is, am I muted? Nope. Uh, apparently the wall is a really bad place. I like. I kind of assumed it was bad. I thought it was like border patrol maybe or something like that. Who knows? Who cares? Uh, apparently it's like winter or something. Like winter storm. It's like frost or something kills people. Goes there. I don't know too much though. But uh, let's get at it. Let's continue. Oh wait, well, let's rewind. I might need to rewind. I might be closing out soon. <laughs> nah, I'll just uh, quit out from here. So I remember last I chose. Oh, I'm starting from my sentinel. Well, I'm gonna pick Duncan still. I had a spoiler for me, by the way. Get ready for a spoiler. Fast forward 10 seconds if you don't want to hear it. You may sit. Apparently my character I dies. believe Lord Ethan has reached his decision. Before I name my sentinel, I must tell you. Duncan, Royland, this house needs you both. But you can only choose one, my lord. Let him be on with it. Many thought either of you would make a fine sentinel, but I have made my decision. Easily, Duncan. But I'll humor you. I'll look at you. No. Easy. Duncan Tuttle, you will be my sentinel. Tuttle! This, this is reckless! Lord Ethan has made his choice. I will not disappoint you, my lord. Now, Sentinel, what do you have to report of Ramsey Snow? Our scouts say he's only a day's ride from here, with no time to waste. Who knows what he's capable of? We need to prepare for the worst. We can devise a plan to deal with him. The Boltons need our people to harvest the ironwood. Even the bastard Ramsay must understand that. He's not coming here to negotiate. We must answer with the sword. That's bloody suicide. You gamble with the lives of everyone within these walls. Ignore Sir Roiland. You named me Sentinel. I knew this would happen. He cannot be trusted. This is the bloody small council. Enough! Would my father have stood for this kind of bickering? Neither will I. Sir Royland is clearly able and ready to take up arms, but the rest of our soldiers are not. We need to take a cunning approach. Diplomacy can be a sharper instrument than a sword. The Bolton sigil is a flayed man. Force is the only thing they understand. Gentlemen, please. Thank the gods Mira has asked Lady Marjorie for her help. It's not too late for the Crown to intervene on our behalf. But we must have a plan if Mira's efforts are not successful. I trust Mira's judgment. I don't doubt she did everything within her power to help us. Mother, what do you recommend we do? We must give him whatever he wants and be done with it. It's too dangerous to do otherwise. Mm -hmm. Why not make an offering for peace, my lord? Yeah, the wisdom of the Citadel. We can give the Boltons ironwood in exchange for their protection. You must be mad. It's pure folly to just give away the only currency we have to bargain with. Enough! <sighs> Fuck me. Go fight, we use diplomacy. Bargain. I think I'm gonna go with diplomacy. What will he do? Bargain my work. Any, any, money, mo, catch a tiger by his toe. If he hollers, let him go. My mama picks the very best one. Thank you. Perfect. Diplomacy. I don't think that's gonna work. I think bargaining. My sentinel does say diplomacy, though. Can I have a triangle? Mother, what do you think? Sounds good. 
I don't know if they'll do it though. I don't know these characters. But I kind of want to do bargain because it sounds like because I heard he's gonna get stabbed in the throat. My character. I know fight's gonna do that. Diplomacy might. No, it's gonna end with a stab. He's not gonna like the deal. Bargaining might work. That would be an outcome of death. And by giving him anything that he wants, it would be bargain. But I don't know if that would work. I'm not gonna fight, because I'm not a fucking idiot, but it's either gonna be diplomacy or bargain. Alright, any mini money mo, catch a tiger by his toe. If he hollers, let him go. My mama picks the very best one, and you are it. Fuck it. My new know. sentinel favors a certain approach, and I agree. I shall use diplomacy with Lord Snow. I would be foolish to pick a fight without negotiating first. I'll offer our allegiance. And try to reach a reasonable agreement. If you aren't ready for a fight, you're bound to lose when one breaks out. Ethan has made his opinion known, and you will respect his decision. Forgive us, my lord. We are, of course, here to serve you, as we served your father. Aye. Well then... Let's decide how we shall set the stage for Ramsay's arrival. Invite him into this hall and meet him face to face, lord to lord. Ramsay Snow is no lord. That's absurd. You meet him at the gate with as much force as we can muster. Make him wait. Let him gaze upon Ironrath. And when he enters, he'll know it's only because you allowed it. Lord Ethan? I like how they give me so much time. I mean, I, I kind of just want to be on good terms with them, let them in the great hall, but we need to be gay to what Shodom. I need a show dominance. I'm a king. I will meet him at the gate. Very good, my lord. I shall prepare the men. Men? We hardly have any. It's a foolish plan. How many years have I served this house? I cannot listen to that bloody idiot anymore. Forgive me, my lord, but you are not ready to be lord of this house. You're likely to get us all killed. Sit down at once. <laughs> Apologies, my son. But now that it is settled, we know what we must do. You will meet Ramsay Snow at the gate. And we will not offer our ironwood. And don't worry, Lord Ethan. I will stand beside you, where your sentinel belongs. Then perhaps we should adjourn. We have to prepare the house. Fuck! I should have done the Great Hall. Be a kiss out. My lord, you have named your sentinel, but you still seem conflicted. And no matter what, you can't be indecisive. Not if you want to help this house. Forgive me. There will always be those who question your leadership, which is why you need allies you can rely on. Family. Mira has done everything she can in King's Landing, but there are others who can help us. What about your brother, Asher? Malcolm told me. You want to bring him back? He's a skilled fighter. But what's more, he has the will to fight. A hunger for it. He always protected you and your sister. And we need all the help we can get. Yes, I hear what you're saying. Do you remember the Miller's boy? How he tormented you? I wanted to intervene, but your father said... Ethan must fight his own battles. But when Asher saw it... He didn't take a breath. He grabbed the Miller's boy by the neck. That was his first instinct. Asher knocked out half the poor boy's teeth. Of course, your father was furious, but you were in danger and there was nothing else Asher needed to know. 
Asher does not hesitate. He acts, and we need that. You have many fine qualities. But you do not have that anger inside you. It's something we could use. I'm not like that, but I don't need to be, do I? No, but you need someone who is standing beside you. Mm hmm I agree. Fuck are you? Question. I'm trying to do what's best for this family. What I this wonder. family needs. Ethan, let me send Malcolm to Essos. Fine. Malcolm will go to Essos and bring Asher back. Thank you, Ethan. I'm glad you will let me do this. Know that you never stand alone. You are a forester. Mira stands with us, and she may be able to help us yet. Pause really quick. The reason I'm bringing back Asher, even though I know nothing about him, but from what she explained to me, if I can get him there for when I'm meeting the... whoever the fuck it was again, I don't remember. If I can get him by my side during that, I can avoid that whole stabbing in the throat, I think. I'm not sure. They always have, uh, the Telltale series always has this weird thing where they make you think that you can do something and then you can't, no matter what. I mean, so, we'll see if this works. I'm kind of banking on it. I feel like there's a way to keep Lord Ethan alive. I want his legacy to live on. I don't want him to die to Although the books, I mean the movies, or TV show, movies, TV show and the books say probably that he dies no matter what. I'm gonna try and prevent it though. It's not like this is all canoned anyway. I'm gonna look at it a little longer. For now, I'll just try this. What the fuck? <laughs> what are these options? Yes, a key. Uh, I'm not gonna fuck with her shit. Now, that's it's open, I don't. Marjorie? Oh. Lady Marjorie is still with the king. I thought you'd want to know. Thank you. Mira, look. The other day when you asked Lady Marjorie for help, I only spoke out of fear for her. I want to help you if there's anything I can do. Your poor family. I can't imagine how you must feel. You're sweet to offer, Sarah. Thank you. Lady Marjorie is always saying how important friends and allies are in King's Landing. Just know, I will be here for you if you ever... My lady, I'll leave you to talk. I also figured out who Lord Jeffrey is. Are you alright, my lady? The king was not inclined to offer help for your family. I'll need this mended. Gods. He said I was too easily swayed. And he reminded me that I am not yet his wife. I allayed his fear. For now. But it will be a long time before I can ask him for anything again. Nothing I said could cheer him. He wouldn't even speak to me when I left him. What can I do to make this better, my lady? There's nothing you can do, Mira. Understand, it was my mother's plan, not mine. I just hope you can find some way to forgive me. This is simply not how things are done, Mira. Not in King's Landing. I'm sorry, my lady. <sighs> Soon I will be queen, and maybe then I'll be in a better position to help you. But for now, now, we must both be cautious. I must send a raven. I have to warn my family. If you'll excuse me, my lady. She's 
just got a nice ride. I'm sorry. <laughs> uh, that was creepy, but it was funny. Milady. Cold boy. Begging your pardon, Milady. I hope I didn't frighten you. I'm glad to see you. Thank you, Milady. I hope you saw. I was right before about Lady Marjorie and Queen Cersei. I just want you to know I. I can help you if you'd like. And your family, if you're willing to trust me. I hear all sorts of things. Things that could be useful for you. How can you help me? My problems can't be solved by what you might overhear. Which is why you must trust me, milady. You need allies. Alright, I'm sorry. I need to do something. What? <laughs> what? Yeah, okay, this is on stream. <laughs> Jesus Christ. I pause my game, open the phone, answer, and I hear this on stream. <laughs> Alright. Um. Yeah. No. <laughs> yeah, sure. When you come in. <laughs> uh. I'm already on my way. Oh, okay, I'll see you in like, what, six hours? Uh, I've been, uh, I've actually been driving for like two hours now. It's, it's like, like eight hours. <laughs> I'm just driving really slow. Uh. Okay, you went dead silent when I said, uh. <laughs> Am I your god? No, wait a minute, yes, I'm my lord. Here. Open your door, I'm already here. Yeah, okay. Wait a minute, are you gonna come back to Arizona before August? Or California? Shut up. I don't hear a no. I hear a uh, hoping. So we're gonna see how this ends. Well, hey, man, hey, my car. car we man, my car broke down a, a mile away. Can you pick me up? <laughs> a mile away from my house. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Oh, man. That was a that was an interesting day. Uh, we man, I am playing a game though, and it's like story driven. And I'm really curious to see how it goes. Wait, man, Marshall is still so salty about that. Is he really? Oh my god, he talks about it all the time. I mean, it is his like, car, but that's you're, all you're on really him. He's a good friend, but except that one time he left me on courtside, I'm like... It's like, Marshall, I'm not going to drive five hours to see you. <laughs> to do nothing but be like, oh, it's fine, dude. <laughs> you're okay, I know it sucked. Let me hold your hand. You wanted it's... me to pick him up. Oh that's yeah, and drive all the so way that was retarded. <sighs> Fuck, we man. <laughs> You're really busting my balls with this story theme. <laughs> I just made an important decision. Okay, so, you know Game of Thrones? Yeah. Did I tell you what I've been doing? Watching Game of Thrones. No, I'm not watching Game of Thrones. I just dived into the video game that was free on PlayStation. And it's like, third season story. <laughs> and I have no idea what the fuck is going on. <laughs> Story. It's interesting, yeah. I don't know what's going on. See, this is a telltale game, so anything you do can affect the story. Like, anything you say. So if I was like... I, like, I just gotta choose someone as my sentinel, which is like... I said, I'm a king. It's like a guy that gets to help you choose what you want to do. Like, kind of like a vice president, but more spoken. Like, they get more decisions. Yeah. And, and, like, one guy is, like, war-hungry, and the other's like, diplomacy. So I went with the diplomacy guy because I don't want to go un un like man to fight another army. Cause, you know that'd be fucking retarded. Uh, plus he's a prick. <laughs> I want him to be my sentinel. Uh, so yeah, it's pretty cool. I don't know who Stark is, like the House of Stark, which is a huge thing I think. I don't know. I it took me a while to figure out I was getting betrayed in the beginning. <laughs> Like, like, they were stabbing a bunch of people. Like, they've been killing our own men. They dressed as our men. And I'm like... Oh, I got betrayed. That was it. <laughs> Wait a minute. It took me, like, 20 minutes to understand there was a mutiny. Uh, hello? You muted yourself. Okay, no, he just disconnected. Back to the game. 
God damn it. Hopefully I've proven I could be useful to you. Wait a minute. Can I call you back in like 15, 20 minutes so I can at least do this? Oh, you're driving. Uh, yeah, I'm going to be at work in 20 minutes. Fuck. Uh, well, I'm not working until closing tomorrow if you want to call back after work. <laughs> I'll probably get out around like 12. Oh. Maybe like 1. I, I might still be awake. I probably will be. Alright, wee man. I'll talk to you. And by the way, I've been driving my dad's avalanche since my car is in the shop. How is that, wee man? It's pretty fun, honestly. Like, when I'm driving a truck, I don't feel like I have to be a speeding asshole. I still do, but... <laughs> wee man, I don't want to be those slow assholes, okay? They really piss me off. Yeah. It's die knowing what you love, or doing what you love, or live long enough to become the thing you hate kind of situation, I feel like. So, that's, I hope I never... Wait, man, no, I just hope I never live that long, which is like, what, 50? <laughs> so... Wait, man, I feel like if you make it to, like, at 50. least 50, you're gonna be, like, the worst version of yourself. You're gonna be, like, the guy, like, when you were little, you're like, oh, I never want to be that guy. Uh, I hope I'm not that guy that I hoped I wouldn't be. Well, yeah, it was like the worst, like, like, you're like, you know what, fuck that guy when you're like five years old. Homeless people. Ah, oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> On a real note. Alright, just confess to it. Man, I'm trying not to. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I'll always have you, right, wing man? Wing man, what if, like, I die in, like, a car accident or something? I'll take your money. What? <laughs> You're not gonna get very much, wing I'll take, what, a hundred dollars? I'll take his Cadillac. I'll, I can survive with it. I can sell that bitch. Wing man, good luck. I'll tell you that right now. Good luck. They're about 160,000 miles on this car right now, Wingman. How many? 50,000? 160,000. Oh, jeez. Okay, I thought you said 50,000. Wait, that is not bad. Oh, no, Wingman. If it was only 50,000, I'd, I'd definitely sell it. Wingman, but no one wants a car kind of like 160,000 miles on it. <laughs> and they said that guy. As in you. No, wait, man. Oh, no, wait, man. I don't want it. Wait, man. I'm willing to sell it to you for the low price of $10,000. Okay, you can suck a dick. <laughs> wait, man. You're getting a, a great deal. So you want to just get my car instead? You know what? A trade would be nice. Okay, yeah. Wait, man. If you want a trade car, I'm also fine with that. Um, you know what? I'll get back to you on that. Uh, we need an answer now. No. And it can't be no. It has to be well, yes. I just said no. Wait, man. I see a problem here. <laughs> see, you said it can't be, but I just made it. I just did it. Wait, man. Did I tell you that Marshall the other day asked me what no was in Spanish? You're kidding. <laughs> You are kidding. <laughs> Did you say to him no? <laughs> when he asked. You should have just been like, you know what? No. Dude, so Aladdin's getting a live action adaptation. Wait a minute. I think his phone dropped again. Yep. Uh, he, she said, me or animes. I miss her sometimes. <laughs> I'm guessing that I'm gonna have to, you know. I was wondering if you wanted to take my Friday shift from 9 a.m. to 2.30, let me know, thanks. Oh, you know what? I didn't even see the casual. Uh, what's Yulia's number?
Okay, back to the game, because he's not coming back. Once his phone drops twice, he usually gives up on it. I'm sorry. I... I really must go. Please don't despair. I know people who... People who'd be willing to help you. Why are you whispering around? Oh. I think he's trying to smash. Is this Asgard? Hmm. Still not seeing Thor. <laughs> Am I ever gonna play as Garrett again? Where's Sir Roiland? The man values pride more than honor. And without King's Landing. I know you'd hoped Mira could help us, but I'm confident we've enough strength of our own. Your men stand ready to act if needed. Our plan is a good one. It will work so long as everyone does their part. Bolton men approaching, my lord! All I'm trying to do is survive. Gate. Huh. Well, aren't you the little lord? No wonder you can't open the gate. Shall we help you? Now let me in. This is a lovely pile of timber, isn't it? You're welcome inside, but your men are not. Did you hear that, men? The Lord of the House says, Fuck off. I think he's afraid of you. Wait here. For now. A token. For the new Warden of the North. Let me guess. Forrester Ironwood. Carved by our most skilled craftsman. Ironwood. Doesn't look like much. Don't know what's so special about it. No one can match our skill. Is that so? <gasps> <gasps> Not bad. Lord Whitehill. Can your lot do this? Given enough time, we could learn. Given enough time, you could do a great many things. But not this, apparently. Hmm. Why is it coming? So this guy is that me? <laughs> Quite the army you have, Lord Forrester. Very impressive. I'm, this is really tense for me because I really hope he doesn't die, Lord Ephraim. I bet a lot of you are fans or something. It's like, oh, he doesn't even know. It is inevitable. He is going to die. Their whole village is going to attack us. I was hoping Asher would be here. A Roiland, even. Look at that! More Forester. Lord Ramsay? Come out where I can see you. We really must focus on the business at hand. What is it you want, Lord Ramsay? What do I want? Everything. Nothing. We'll see. First. Let's see you bend the knee to my father. Lord Bolton. Warden of the North. Words are wind. Anyone can say they're loyal. 
I want you to show me. My lord. Ha! That wasn't so hard now, was it? Here's the thing. I don't care about your loyalty. The Crown, however, wants what you've got. Whatever you've been supplying the Starks for centuries. Ships, shields, chamber pots. I expect you'll do the same for us. My father has promised as much to the King. You wouldn't want to make him a liar, would you? That wouldn't reflect well on me. No, Lord Ramsay. That's a good little lord. You can't trust her, Forrester. They murdered our men. It was a Forrester squire who did it. One Whitehill soldier dead. One Bolton. Yet your man lived. He was within his right. They killed his family. His right? He killed a loyal soldier in my father's army. You had me stand out in the wind and muck so you could show off your pathetic little army. That sort of insolence from one of our loyal bannermen will not do. So I've come up with a solution that will benefit everyone. The White Hills will be taking control of your Ironwood from this day forward. What? What? The Ironwood? But... That is our livelihood. Then you'd better well find another fucking job. You can't do that. Why not? You know something the White Hills don't? We are talking about trees. You grow them, you cut them down. It can't be that difficult. We have loyal craftsmen who make the finest weapons. The White Hills have no such craftsmen. Do you want Ironwood for the next five years? Or the next 50 generations. The little lord does have a point. Mm -hmm. We'll try this. Lord Whitehill will take half of your iron wood, mm -hmm. and we'll see who fares better. But my lord... Half of something is better than the nothing you had before. To ensure there's no trouble, Lord Whitehill will install a garrison of 20 men <gasps> within your walls. At Ironrath, that we cannot abide. Ethan. They'll help maintain the king's peace. And make sure there's no more trouble. This will cause more trouble, not less. <laughs> not for me. Hmm? You have a man you trust? My son, Griff. Griff? We'll lead the garrison. You have no right. White Hills have no place here. Lads, do make this visit worthwhile. Please, Duncan, don't. Look at this little forester. You're not frightened, are you? Lord Ramsay, please. And you? Are you Lord Ethan's older sister? I'm his twin, my lord. Ah, oh, twins. Well, like the queen and her brother. Well, <laughs> hopefully not just like the queen and her brother. I never had a sister. Always wanted one. We have more to discuss, Lord Snow. Oh, I have an idea. You'll come with me. You can be my highborn ward. Lord <gasps> Ramsay, that's enough. Do you like hunting? Let her go. She's quite pretty, your sister. We'd get along well. <gasps> I suppose you can stay. Aren't you the bold lord? Oh. No! No! What have you done? No! But I don't want a bold lord. Far too much trouble. Ethan! Ethan! No! 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 Even though you did bend the knee. I think we've come to an understanding. Lord Ethan! I certainly feel better about all this. Ethan. What have you done? 
However, the foresters need to keep their end of the bargain. Take the boy as your ward. Kill him. If they give you any trouble. Lovely meeting all of you. We'll have to do it again sometime. Somebody help him. Fetch the mace so quickly! You brought this on yourself. Mama! Please, stop! Don't let him take me! Oh, let him go! Stop that! No, please! Try it, please. Stop it! Let me go! Do something! Ethan? My son. Fuck. So that's why it's like to be attached to a character and watch them die. Is it possible to save him? Well, actually, Ethan sacrificed himself for us all. He saved Talia's life. He'll be remembered as Ethan the Brave. This house needs a leader. Lord Ethan named me Sentinel. I will lead this house. My sister asked you to swear loyalty to her son, and you did it without flinching. We can't let them hurt Ryan too. We have to stop them. We do not stand alone. There are those who will fight for us. Those who hold house for all other loyalties. You will not stop until Ethan is avenged. Until Ryan is home again. Our house will not fall. We will be ready. Nothing comes without a cost, my lady. Are you prepared for what might happen? Okay, um, is it possible to save Lord Ethan? All right, he couldn't be saved. Damn it. So that was it. No, thank you. No, I forgot the LOL. <sighs> that really sucks that he dies no matter what. Like, what kind of fuck? Well, I'm happy he was known as Lord Ethan the Brave. 
Alright, Jon Snow, my boy. Now there's a lot of hype for this character, apparently. He survives every season. So that's cool. Maybe he dies in seven, I don't know. I think I heard he does. Or he's going to. These are dark days, I fear. Don't try! Dumb down. To the North Grove must never be lost. You're sending him to the war? The boy's done nothing wrong. The future of this house is in Lord Ethan's hands now. Duncan, I've decided to name you as my sentinel. I'm just worried about my family. The king was not inclined to offer help for your family. Are you willing to risk an alliance with the crown? It's a risk I'm willing to take, Lord Tyrion. Your mother asked me to cross the narrow sea to find your brother, Rasher. We don't want White Hill men within these walls. You can be my highborn ward. Uh, uh, Ethan. Uh, no! Don't let them take me! Uh, uh, oh, my son. She's pretty calm about that death. My son. Hmm, whatever. Next. Wasn't like a kid supposed to be in the Lord now? Uh. I hate sports. I shit the kids by the way. That's Asher. Whoa, it's just me, Beska. <sighs> Took you long enough. The rail's getting warm. Or warmer, I should say. You can stop pacing. They'll be here soon. This stuff is weak compared to Northern Ale. This place could use... Is that wine? Or blood. Taste it and find out. <laughs> Fragrant. Only a forester brings his axe all the way to Essos. Wicked little thing, though. Looks like we weren't the first to rough up the place. I know, I know. Woman sellsword, four years fighting by your side and you still can't get over it. Come on, Asha, quit staring, let's get to drinking. Ale. Goes in yellow, comes out yellow, waste time even drinking it if you ask me. Considering we found it in an abandoned tavern, it's not bad. They smell off to you. It's the only thing in Yunkai that doesn't. I know. It's a filthy haven for thieves, murderers, and other deadly bastards. You should feel right at home. I know I do. May we drink, thieve, and fight until the end. I'll drink to that. <laughs> You'll drink to anything. I was gonna say I'm not Another bad. round? Uh, 
Have you forgotten about our honored and exalted guest? Go see if he's still breathing. Hmm. Different. How's he doing? <laughs> we need him alive to collect his bounty. After that... Remind me again, what's this fat pig fucker's name? Bazak Zog... Something or other. Don't care, really. So long as we get our gold. Eight hundred gold dragons for capturing him. Lucky we caught him trying to flee Yunkai. Lucky for us. Not so lucky for him. We should find more former slave masters with bounties on their heads. I don't need any more naked fat men in my life, thank you. <laughs> they say only the poor know how to really spend money. We'll buy the finest wines, the best whores. Sleep in a bed without fleas? Sounds nice, doesn't it? I don't need whores. I've been told I'm quite handsome. Yeah, buy whores. My point is, with enough coin, we could do anything. Go anywhere. I could afford passage back to Westeros. To Ironrath. I've heard nothing from my family in years. You mean go home? They treated you like shit there. Kicked you out because you fell in love with a girl from the wrong damn house. Gwyn. A man doesn't choose who he loves. Your family should understand that. Westeros and its bloody houses. Who fucking cares? It's all an excuse to tell everyone else what to do. It's not that simple. In the North, these feuds run deep. Oh, fuck the North. We have a good thing here. And any moment now, we're gonna be rich. Let's make a toast. To all of us deadly bastards. To family. I'm sure I'd agree if I'd ever had one. Hmm. That's really a fucking mini game. Beskett, I thought freed slaves put the bounty on Bazak. They did. With his own gold. So why are the fucking Lost Legion here? Oh, is that Tazal? From the Volantis job? Maybe he's forgotten about that. You! I told you if I saw you again! Tazal! Isn't it funny how life brings old friends together? I'd cut your fucking throats! It's good to see you too, Tazal. Where is he? Where's who? Here. Four hundred dragons. They must be working for the Wise Masters. And that's all you're getting. The bounty is 800. You get four. It's more than you deserve. Give us 800 and you can have him. Don't be an asshole now. We're all sell swords here. We are nothing like you. The Lost Legion are the blood of all Valyria. And we are done taking orders from whimpering pigs. Bloody hell! And we're done with you, too. La da diri, Zombasi. Do ebi me. You just made a huge mistake, Tazal. You two are going to be useful to me for once. Not bloody likely. The wise masters will hear how Asher Forrester kidnapped the venerable Bezak. How he wouldn't take less than 800 gold dragons. So he killed Bezak instead. Me? Luckily, we were there to deliver swift justice. So you steal the money and we get the blame. Ponte Osinas! Bojos me nomi shahoso kisikas! Who dies first? Who wants to dance at the end of my sword? Kill them! Now! No one's more like it. Here's one! Come on! Oh. 
Sicko di no pass me! What the hell? I pressed triangle. Let's see <laughs> well, I pressed triangle. Sicko di no pass me! I pressed triangle, that was so dumb. <laughs> You be down. You're going to die. You're the only one. This reminds me of <laughs> that brothel in Norvos. You kill me, and the Lost Legion won't stop until you and your friend are dead. To Saul, kill them both. Asha. Asha. In all the gods of fire and fuck. Who the fuck is he? My uncle. Tazal? Fuck. More on their way. We need to go. So the guy with a bus in the exit. Come on. They're super slow, apparently. Malcolm. Damn it. We have to keep moving. Malcolm, stop! Asher, I'm glad I found you, my boy. It's been far too long. What are you doing here? Your brother Ethan sent me. I'm here to bring you home. Like. 
Roderick! I thought it was, but I wasn't too sure. I'm trying to remember. Holy shit. Not long now. Damn foresters. Have to be so fucking far away. That's far enough. I come from the twins bearing the dead of House Forrester. Lordly types from the looks of them. All right, we'll take them. Well, they're not free, are they? How much are you paying for them? Sir Ryland. You again. <laughs> what have you got this time? Some poor peasant dressed up like a I lord. Sir a stable boy was... in Bannerman's clothes. You did this at Duskendale. <laughs> Oh, and you have the fucking stones to try it again. No, I... This house has suffered the loss of many good men. And you dare come here claiming to have Forrester dead. They're Forrester. <sighs> Look at the cut. Please. Now. Fine. I'll dump them in the river then. <sighs> you come back here again, you won't be leaving. You got that? I, I heard you. Oh, lousy sheep fucker. <clears throat> I'm sorry, sir. I... Don't worry, you son. <laughs> Seven hours. <laughs> what is it, sir? This one's still alive. You there? Who are you? I could use some help. Roderick? Roderick? By the gods, it is you! Sir? Fetch the maester! Hurry! Fetch the maester! Roderick! I knew Royland would like him, because he's a fighter. And a good one. So he's gonna be king. Uh oh, was it a mistake to get Astro back? My lord, you should not be awake. The milk of a poppy. Drink. Come now. That's it. Roderick! My lady. I am at a very delicate moment in the surgery. Please. I want to see my son. Let him. <gasps> Sir, my lady, I must insist that you leave. No. Roderick, what have they done to you? These wounds would have killed any other man. As it is, you may never walk again. Roderick? What's wrong with him? He drank the milk of the poppy. Please don't leave me. Not yet. Christ. Later. Uh, where are you? Just the mom scene? Coming? I hope him and Ashley get along. What? <laughs> 
Oh, okay. I was like, what the fuck? Morning, Talia. Good to see you again. Roderick, thank the gods. Brother, I thought oh, I lost oh. you. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to hurt you. Call me a sister. How bad is it? <laughs> Maestor Tengren says your leg may never fully heal. And your face. I look half as bad as I feel. Well, at least you look better than you did. Roderick, there's something you need to know. Ethan is dead. Ethan? Bruce Bolton's bastard came here and threatened to take me away. Ethan grabbed me. And that monster put a blade through his throat. Like it was nothing. Ethan? We'll make Ramsay pay for what he did. I promise. Good. We're planning to honor Ethan in the Grove, alongside Father. And now Mother wants me to write this song for the funeral. I can't. <laughs> no tears. You're stronger than that. It's been chaos here since he died. We have White Hill soldiers stationed in our courtyard. Even the small folk don't feel safe. You need to show everyone who this house belongs to. They need a lord. You're still a hero to them. If you lead, others will follow. I know you still need time to heal, but... I'll be fine, Talia. Council's meeting in the Great Hall right now, actually. Nobody expects you there, but if you think you're ready... I want to go. Can you even stand? They could use your leadership. But if you're not ready... I guess we'll see. I missed you, brother. You can do this, Roderick. Did I you know, know you can. Fucking broken arm and broken leg. L1, R1, L1, come on. Do that. That would be so cool. Damn it. Roderick! I'm fine. Why'd you do that? I won't let anyone see you like this. Not when the house appears so weak already. I need to attend that meeting. And you will. But you will get there on your feet. Yeah. It's a long way to the Great Hall. We can't risk you falling where others can see. Take my hand. Let me help you. Please, Roderick. No. I have to do this on my own. All right. I pressed both, by the way. I'm just gonna get my hand, or, yeah, my whole hand, pressed down. <sighs> That'll be hard part. I will say, character development. I actually care about these guys. We're really doing it. 
Everyone will be so glad to see you up, though I think you'll find that much has changed. And what's stopping the guards from killing him? <laughs> I see a problem here. I have the White Hole soldiers. Yes, Garrett, please. Jesus. Our Garrett. The wall. Always wanted to see it, but not like this. Castle Black. So this is the seat of the Night's Watch. Recruits at the gate! Another one for Frostfinger. On a horse, no less. by giants, doesn't it? You're new, here to take the black. Because mm. you got that look about you. I need to speak to the Lord Commander. We, uh, don't have one right now. It's Frostfinger you want. You'll get you sorted out. Which one's Frostfinger? That grizzled old prune over there. Says us new recruits are all dead men. But don't let them scare you. <laughs> That's just his way. You seem nice. That's not so good round here. Again. You fight like a girl. A woggling girl, maybe. What's in these barrels? It's pitch. Dump it off the wall there, it'll burn the wildlings down to their fucking bones. Huh. It's warm. It's warm. Your Frostfinger. You recruits. You come, you train, you fight, you die. Who are you, boy? I'm Gary Tuttle, nephew to Duncan Tuttle, Castellan of Ironrath. Gary Tuttle of Ironrath. And how does a Castellan's nephew get himself sent to the wall? You're a thief. A raper. You abandon your post. I killed the men who murdered my family. Then you know how to fight, at least. And you're no liar, either. Sir? From Duncan Orrister. My uncle wrote to the Night's Watch. He goes on for a bit. But then he asks us to make you a ranger. As if it's a knighthood. So you see, Tuttle, I know all about you. You are a killer. Even if you are man enough to own up to it. Yes, sir. Now then, we'll start your training in the morning. For today, you need a cot and a cloak. Understood. 
Oh, and Tuttle. Sooner or later, the Night's Watch will be your death. When it comes, try to make it quick. Okay. Can't wait till I stab you in the throat, bitch. <laughs> And last we'd heard, Asher was in Slaver's Bay. So, Malcolm caught a ship headed for... I heard they took him off a corpse cart. <laughs> and he's missing his arms and legs. <laughs> At least he can still eat and shit. The White Hill soldiers are drunk again. <laughs> and we have too few men to handle them. Let's just get to the Great Hall. Well, I say he's dead. And they've dressed up some peasant in his place. Fill me up, would you? And bring us some salted pork while you're at it. <laughs> Fill yourself up, you lazy fuck. I like how every citizen looks like. Is that him? Has to be, doesn't it? He's hideous. <laughs> Had a run-in with Walder Frey, did you? Should have buried him with the corpses. Forest is Real accursed. shame about your leg. Who gives a toss? Thanks, man. What? We have business in the Great Hall. <laughs> Go round. Move aside, soldier. I'm quite comfortable, thank you. And I don't think you're gonna make me. I wonder what's weaker. Your legs? Or this house. I am the lord of this house. And you will move. Go on then, my lord. It's ridiculous. You're treating them like the wine yes. keeps oh. their wits dull. It makes us look weak. Both of you, please. So you'd rather they riot? Duncan, you're a damn fool sometimes. It doesn't matter what you think. I was chosen as sentinel. My lords. Roderick. My boy. Come, join us. Lady Talia, you should have told us the Lord needed help. Uh. <gasps> My Lord! Good to see you awake, Lord Roderick. We didn't expect you so soon. The Maester said it would be weeks before you were walking. If you walked again at all. It was highly probable. I'm not here to talk about my elf. Perhaps we should get started. Yes, let's. Dali has told me the state of our house. Then you know our situation is grim, my lord. No thanks to your sentinel. He's been getting the White Hill soldiers drunk. It keeps them off their guard. They think you're a bloody fool. My lords, please. Oh, oh, I'm a fool. 
At least I was there by Ethan's side when Ramsay Snow told you. I was keeping an eye on the Bolton soldiers. You should have been protecting your lord. Now Ethan's dead, and Ryan a hostage. And what have you done to get him back? Nothing. I am your lord. Of course. Apologies, my lord. The White Hills have my brother. We fight amongst ourselves, when we should be fighting them. We'd need an army to win that fight. And we don't have one. Not anymore. Summon our allies, then. I'm afraid we have none left, my lord. We've heard little from the Glovers since the Ironborn took Deepwood Mott. Halsey's Helleva, Grayson and Brownbarrow were all slaughtered at the Twins. And the rest of our allies are terrified of the Boltons. You forget the Glenmores. You'd be wed to Elena Glenmore already, if not for the war. And her father is no coward. Now that you've returned, the marriage can proceed as planned. The marriage? Well, much has changed. The Glenmores may no longer desire the union. Lady Elena will decide for herself. Your betrothed is on her way here as we speak. Lady Elena? She's coming now! He's barely recovered. I'm not ready. My son, I understand your doubts, but if she still wishes to marry, we'd have the allies we so desperately need. Their army would become oath-bound to Roderick. And we could burn High Point to the fucking ground! Yes, this marriage could be our chance. Of course, we must hope Lady Elena still wants to marry Roderick. We're talking about a marriage, not an Ironwood contract. I'm certain I can convince her. She's always been fond of you. Just be careful not to push Elena too hard. If Elena does come to Ironrath, she'll see those soldiers in the courtyard. We starve them out, and they'll have to leave. I'd rather they be lying around drunk than setting the stables on fire. My lord, perhaps you could put an end to this tiresome dispute? Keep them drunk. It's better than inciting them to violence. Yes, my lord. Now, if there's nothing more to discuss. Maester, it's time to light the ironwood torches. Yes, my lady. I like this guy. I wish I could Welcome back, my lord. It's got to be back. So Gregor last lit these torches when his mother passed. Ironwood doesn't burn easily, he told me. But foresters have a way. And now we light them for him and Ethan. How is your song coming? Ethan always helped me with music. It's not the same without him. I can help you with it. That's all right. The last time you sang, all the dogs in the kennel started howling. But thank you. Everyone knows how much Ethan meant to you. I'm sure it will honor him well. About Elena, I've sent a letter to Mira. The Tyrells hold much influence over the Glenmores. I don't know where things stand between her and Lady Marjorie, but maybe your sister can find a way to help. I want to see more of Asher. It's entirely ridiculous. If it's not the flowers, it's the food or the table settings. Is that the letter to the orphanage? Yes, my lady. It's nearly done. Make sure to tell them we'll send all the leftovers. And mm, something nice after that. You and the children are ever in our thoughts. A lovely sentiment, Mira. And the seal. Here you are. That animation, though. Oh, 
Are there any more invitations to send, or are we finally done with the cursed things? One more. An invitation to Sir Maynard. Ah, yes. One of my father's favorite drinking companions. Cool boy? No, cool boy. I yep. have a letter for Lady Mira Forrester. Thank you. My pleasure, Lady Mira. I like that guy. What is it, Mira? It's from my mother. She asked that I help ensure Roderick's betrothal to Elena Glenmore remain intact. How can you do that from a thousand leagues away? Ah, it's my help she's after, isn't it? She's a bold woman. Most would shy away from asking such things. Forgive my mother. She doesn't see the harm in what she does. She's not entirely wrong. A letter from me could encourage the Glenmores to honor the betrothal. But it wouldn't be very discreet you'd be forcing their hand. That isn't the way I do things. You pushed me before and you saw the results. I'm sure your brother can secure the marriage on his own. I agree. I'd better get going. Mira, we'll talk more later. I mean, you hit her last time. I kind of think you shouldn't be pushing it. If Lady Marjorie wrote a letter... I'm not gonna push the one more. I'm sorry, Roderick. Sir Maynard, you are hereby invited... Mira. Lady Marjorie sent me to pick up the letters. Sir Maynard. Oh, the man's breath smells like a brew house. I was hoping I'd catch you at something slightly more exciting. A love letter, perhaps? Or a declaration of war? I know you're very busy with Lady Marjorie and... and all that's happening with your family. But I was hoping we could talk. If you don't mind. Go ahead, then. Well, it's... <sighs> we really should get these letters sent first. Sorry. Do you need any help with those? I've got them. You might be new here, but you're in my spot. So move. I'll find another spot. Wrong fucking answer. Most of you will be dead within the year. <sighs> Frostfinger and his bloody speeches. If you want to survive in the Night's Watch, listen close. You know why I got sent to the wall? The wall was erected over 8,000 years ago. To defend the realm At this girl I used to fuck now and again. Walkers, Face like a queen, tits like a whore. Turned out she was married to some lordling. He tried to stick me with this. I stuck it in him instead. So next time I say move, you best fucking move. Shut up for once, will you? What's your problem? I'm sick of Finn bragging about all the girls he's fucked. And what dire crime are you here for? Fucking potatoes. Potatoes? 
You for potatoes. But no, I stole them. That's what got me sent to the wall. Nobody cares, thief. Don't call me that. My name's Cutter. Cutter the potato fucker. There's one for the songs. Oi, my sister was on. I've got something for your sister. Will you stop arguing? Who in seven hells is talking back there? Tuttle, who was it? Sir, it were my fault. Covering for your new brothers already, are you? Garrett Tuttle here wants to be a ranger. So we can go north of the wall and die on some wildling spear. But what he wants doesn't mean shit. So today you're all gonna show me what you're made of. Can you swing a sword? Shoot a bow? Are you strong? Those who do well might just survive. The rest of you... Frostfinger. I need a word. Go on, get started. Best of luck, Tuttle. Here we go. Again. Moves up. See those dummies? Those are fens. Come to eat your brains for breakfast. Sword. Oh. Well, this, up. this one should do. I'll be sparring with you today. Remember, these blades are dulled, but a sword's still a sword. Good luck. <laughs> Come on, keep at it. Well fought. Get off me, you bloody ox. You got lucky. You there, recruit. Scrawny, aren't you? See if you can carry one of these barrels over to the winch. Sure. Right. I can do this. Okay. <sighs> Want some help? Don't hurt yourself, Tuttle. 
I'm thinking Stuart for you. You can help Frostfinger wash his cock. If the thing isn't frozen off. Fuck off, Finn. Bloody ass. Mind your language, Carrot. They say it's 700 feet tall and 8,000 years old. It's not ironwood. Too hard to burn. You're doing that all wrong. Well, we don't have these, we're at. Man's ready to shit himself when he sees you coming. <laughs> Let me show you. All right, let's see if you can aim worth a wildling's arse. Shoot the targets I tell you to. Let's start easy. Middle dummy, center of the chest. You can follow orders at least. Next bolt, left target, head. Good. Right target, chest. Not bad. Center, between the eyes. One less wildling. You hit all of them. Nicely done. Finn thinks he's so bloody clever. If a real wildling got his hands on him, ah, he's just a bully. Aye, he is. That's why I took these. Swiped it right off him. Don't tell, all right? I don't think he'd take it kindly. Give it back to him, Cotter. Are you mad? That's the last thing I'll do. You're pathetic. Fuck off. You didn't even try. A crossbow's a coward's weapon. Besides, I could hit that dummy from here with my... Where is it? Where the fuck's my knife? If someone has it, I'll cut their fucking balls off. How the fuck should I know? You were the last one I showed it to. Well, you and... It was you. What? You little fucking thief. It weren't me. Finn, don't. <gasps> Give me my knife. I don't have it, I swear. Out of my way! Got it, do something! Just calm down. Fight it! Oh. Oh. Oh, I won't say it again. Oh. Fuck! Knife. No, I didn't. And Garrett defended him. The last thief I caught no longer has hands. I swear I don't have it. He must have hid it. 
<laughs> and you. I expected better, Tuttle. Instead, I find you doing this on your first bloody day of training. You clearly need a few days scrubbing the latrines. Frostfinger, I need another man atop the wall. Fine. Let him freeze his balls off. I'll deal with this one. Get off! <laughs> Mind your fucking manners. You, come with me. Hey guy, I was thinking of telling him, but I like him. This way. I love King's Landing in the afternoon. The sun just barely kisses your skin. You used to love this place. Remember, we'd come listen to the musicians in the evening with Lady Marjorie. Dude, why isn't my controller responding? I just said I have a lot of to do it. Just through here. Fuck. What are you doing? My controller will You'll me? see. Dude, what the fuck? Like during the scene, it wouldn't fucking go. Or no, when I was walking around. And now I try to do one fucking command. It's gonna be the death of a character. Fuck that. <laughs> yeah, let's switch to my other controller, I guess. I can't find my charger. Hey, give me a second. Cancel. Fucking shit. Queen Cersei's finest wine. Come on, sit down. You're going to get us both in trouble. Relax. Nobody will miss it, I assure you. Wow, okay. I get the battery's low. That's fucking why it's charging. Shut up. A little won't hurt. It's just wine. I promise you, we won't get in trouble. <sighs> Suit yourself then. So, I, uh... Well, I just... Really? I'm not very good at this sort of thing. You're a bit... Listen, if I tell you this, Mira, you must promise to keep it to yourself. Okay. You can tell no one. I swear, I won't tell a soul. My mother was a handmaiden to Lady Elena for many years. She became pregnant. It was a disgrace to her family. My true name is Sarah. Flowers. You're a bastard? Yes. I'm fortunate to be where I am, I know that. But... To always have to hide. I don't want to hide from you as well. What happened to your mother? Lady Elena asked no questions. She took care of my mother. And... When I was born, she gave me the name Durwell. My mother died not long after. I'm... I'm so sorry, Sarah. It's just... 
just... I don't want to be Sarah Flowers forever. I need Lady Marjorie to arrange a marriage for me. It's my chance at a life. A family of my own. Did you have someone in mind? Someone you'd wish to marry? I'd have to convince Lady Marjorie to make an introduction first. I know she often confides in you, and I was hoping that maybe... Sometime when she comes to you wanting to talk, you might... suggest she talk to me instead. Give me a chance to win her over. Coming from you, it's sure to mean a lot. Of course, Sarah. Thank you, Mira. Thank you. I'm so sorry. Here I am, talking about myself. I know your family's troubles are much greater than mine. With what happened to your brother and your father. You sure you won't have any? You look like you could use a drink. Hmm. A conspiracy of handmaidens. Lord Tyrion. My lord. Ladies? What have we here? If you mean to drink from that flagon, you're going about it the wrong way. Care to join us, Lord Tyrion? Hmm. Not the finest arbor red, but a favorite of my sister's. Quite expensive for a handmaiden. I'd be curious to know how you got hold of it. Since I'm certain my sister didn't give it to you, she won't even share with me. Though that's hardly surprising. We... we found it in that bush. Lord Tyrion. Strange it should find its way into a bush. If Cersei knew you had this wine, she'd drown you in it. You must know what risks are worth taking, especially if you wish to have an alliance with me. Things have changed. My father has recently taken an interest in Ironwood. Most of the Royal Navy went up in green flames. It must be rebuilt. He insisted I handle things myself. I'm on my way to meet representatives of Lord Whitehill. Lord Whitehill? He's hired a pair of merchant lords to broker for his house. It would seem Lord Whitehill wishes to sell the Ironwood right out from beneath your family. I don't know much about the man, but judging by his up-jumped sellswords, negotiating with him won't be pleasant. You can't trust Lord Whitehill. I don't intend to. Come with me. These men think I have no choice but to deal with them. Imagine their surprise when I bring a forester to the table. It might be the first fun I've had in months. My lady. Let me tell you the rest. I am my mind. Oh, well, I have a choice. Okay. I was going to say, if he yes. I'm going, there's a possibility of me dying. We've been waiting here for an hour. Andros, be courteous. Courtesy in a merchant. Like finding gold in your chamber pot. Apologies, my lady. Who is this? Some girl you've brought for entertainment? She's a lady, Lord Andros. My name is Mira Forrester. Mira Forrester? Why are you here? A fair question. We were told we would be speaking to Lord Tyrion alone. This is no place for a forester. Perhaps you should ask Lord Tyrion. I asked you. Andros? She's here for the same reason you are. Ironwood. I'm sorry, Lady Mira, but we've already spoken to Lord you Tyrion. You spoke, I listened. Lady Mira has since persuaded me to consider her offer first. Now, if you excuse us... You're going to dismiss You us? can't do this! I assure you, I can. This is a mistake, my lord. I don't think so. Lord Whitehill will hear of this. He's not a man to take such matters lightly. 
Nor am I. That's enough, Andros. There's no need to make threats. You have no idea. Lord Tyrion. Lord Tyrion, do let me know when you've come to a decision. I'd like the opportunity to change your mind. Lady Mira. Good day, gentlemen. Ah, well, that was fun. Now, as for your offer, what did you have in mind? My lord? The Crown's Ironwood. I assume you have a proposition? You had a reason for coming here. I know it wasn't just to entertain me. Help me stop the White Hills. Well, the quickest way to strangle your enemy is with his own purse strings. Say the Crown agrees to buy Ironwood solely from you. Lord Whitehill will be left in the cold. If he wishes to sell to the Crown, he'll have to do so through your family. You will have him at your mercy. Or you'll bring your houses to open war. You do know that's a possibility, don't you? With you as a partner, that won't happen. As Master of Coin, I can do many things. But sending an army to the north is not one of them. However, I know your house needs this. I'll consider the arrangement. <laughs> Of course, you'd have to do something for me in return. Don't worry. The terms will be fair. Whatever it is, I'll do it. I just asked you for an open favor, and you agreed as if I were inviting you to tea. You're either very brave or very foolish. Brave. We have an understanding, then. Thank you, my lord. This will either be very good for both of us, or very bad for you. For your sake, I hope it's the former. My lady. My lady. What was that? He has such a, like, perfect voice. You know what I'm talking about? There's... And not in a weird way, but like, legit. There's things called a perfect voice. That dude happened. My lady. I can't even do it. Fuck, that was epic. Fucking guard, dude. <laughs> that was just, I, I don't know. That was just cool. I didn't expect it from a fucking guard. Yeah, this controller seems to be working. Pretty nice. Yeah, you like it. Stop <laughs> there, you bitch. They were headed for the main gate. I know another way. You're coming with us then. If you're to save your house, you'll need more than the two of us at your side. You'll need an army. That's why you're here, isn't it? To hire one. An army of cell sorts. And a man to lead them. Do you hear what I'm saying, boy? I can lead an army. I know you can. I've always known it. Your father was blind to that. None of that matters without sellswords to hire. And all the companies around here are engaged. What about Croft? One-eyed Croft, with the second sons. They're all with the Targaryen girl now. But Croft owes me a favor. I'm pretty sure he hates you, actually. No. He'll help us. I'll make sure of it. And how are you going to do that? He didn't part on the best of terms. I'll be charming. Right. Well, this mother of dragons and her sellswords are headed north, so we make for Marine. Wait, Marine? Shit. What? Unfinished business there. I don't want to talk about it. 
We can't afford any distractions. It's not your problem. It'll be fine. I promise. It's fine. I trust you, Beska. I shouldn't have said anything. I said I was with you, little brother. And I meant it. Ponte Renas! Yung kai hino josi butagon kostoti daor. Just one more we'll have to kill later. Let's go. You did well back there, Asher. You acted like a true leader. You two can talk about it later. We need to get out of here. They won't stop looking for us. It's a long journey to Marine on foot. I hope you're ready, Asher. It won't be easy. Just try to keep up, Uncle. Don't you worry about me. Either we cross the narrow sea with an army at our backs, or House Forrester will not survive to see winter. Go up there's that frame of all three of them walking. Back to the wall. It's fall out by a whole army. Hello? That's me. Why would someone do this? Try the White House. Our Lord Joffrey. Everything's still here. Hmm. Yeah, just leave it open just in case they come back. Yeah, let's look at the scuff mark. The letters from my family. What would someone want with them? Was someone going through my books? I have information that will aid you with the imp. Meet me in the gardens at midnight. 
assuming Coldplay, right? Wait, wait, wait. What the hell the hell up? How can they tell? Time? There. <clears throat> that should What's last now? through Lady Elena's visit, at least. There's been no news from Mira. She may not have found a way to help with Elena. We'll be fine, Mother. I pray you're right. Lord Glenmore's army could keep us from ruin. But Elena must still agree to the marriage. <clears throat> My lord, you might remind Lady Elena that in terms of lineage, you are still very much a man. Maester. What I mean is, if the two of you wanted to produce an heir, it should not be a concern. That was never in question. Of, of course not. I just meant... Enough! Maester, just remember that she'll want to see gentleness in you, too. Mm -hmm. I don't mean to burden you with unwanted advice, but this is an important day for all of us. Thank you, Mother. This advice well taken. I'm just so glad to see you home. Okay. She's manipulative in the show, isn't she? Or in the book, even? That mother don't give a fuck. My lord, she's here. So what happened to the father sentinel, by the way? Because the Lord Ethan, I gotta choose. Roderick? Ew. Shuts it away. You look. You're really. I know, I'm unspeakably handsome. I see you haven't lost your sense of humor. <laughs> no. Just two limbs and half a face. <laughs> Please. <laughs> so, here we are. It seems we have a lot to discuss. Yes, I suppose we do. She just said she looked beautiful. Fuck. I set out for Iron Wrath as soon as I heard you were alive. My father suggested I wait, but. I can't believe it's been two years. Your brother's name day feast. We danced until the sun came out. But now your house prepares for a funeral. And you... Tell me the truth, Roderick. How are you, really? And please, be honest with me. I don't mean to pry, but... I won't lie. Every day is a battle. I can only imagine. So much has changed since we were children. Playing hide and seek in the grove and... You're so easy to find. You always hid behind the same tree. <laughs> Maybe I wanted you to find me. But Roderick... I, um... I need to ask you something. When I arrived at Ironrath today... Your courtyard was filled with drunken soldiers. White Hill soldiers. They said some terrible things. The White Hills are your oldest enemies, Roderick. Why are they here? Has something happened? Trust me. They won't be here long. That wasn't an answer. Oh, shit. I couldn't choose anything that said yeah. Dude. I'm going to be honest with you, Roderick. I have always looked forward to our marriage. But in light of all that's happened to your family... My father is questioning the wisdom of our betrothal. He wants me to call it off. And what do you want? I've been asking myself the same question. And frankly, I'm torn. I don't care about your scars, Roderick. I love the boy you were, and I can love the man you are. But my family can't get drawn into a war with the Boltons. They're the Wardens of the North. And they flay their enemies. You and I can overcome anything. I once thought so too. <sighs> but I have to be practical. Elena. It doesn't matter how we feel. 
How can I ask my father to risk everything? Even for you. Let's be practical. When we defeat the White Hills, I'll give your father half of our Ironwood Forest. Uh, that's worth a fortune, Roderick. We'll pay it to secure this alliance. I'll need to discuss it with father, but... Yes, I think this will convince him. Perhaps we'll remain allies after all. Deepest apologies, my lord. I tried to stop him, but... So, he... the rumors are true. You have no right to just... And if it isn't Elena Glenmore. You're not still marrying into this wretched family. Our houses will be joined, in fact. And we will stand proudly beside them. Can I change your mind? You can do much better than this cripple. Get out. Now. How rude of you. Your mother's the one who invited me here. That's not true. I sent a raven to Lord Whitehill about letting Ryan attend the funeral. But I never expected him to barge in like this. Oh. She practically begged me to come. Of course, I'd want the same in her position. The youngest son hung to mourn his dead father and brother. What sort of a game are you playing, Whitehill? I just want to be certain that you know your place. Lord Ramsay ordered your family to obey my soldiers until my son Griff arrives from Harrenhal. But now I hear you're ordering them around and keeping them dull on wine. It makes me start to question your obedience. Lud, enough of this. Fine. Let's talk this through. How about I talk and you fucking listen? Sure. Here's the idea. We're going to make a fresh start, you and I. Your brother Ethan called me Craven. But you're a different man entirely, aren't you? So, if you want Ryan at that funeral, show Lady Elena you respect your betters. Neil. Kiss my shiny ring. Just do it, Roderick. You don't want to end up like your brother, do you? Please. It means nothing, and we'll get to see Ryan again. Go on. Get on your knees. Kiss it. Fuck. I should have refused, God damn it. But she can think of me as a coward. Very good. Now then, since you're a loyal subject, I'll need you to pay me a tribute. What should have been mine in the first place? The other half of the Ironwood Forest. You can't do Ramsey that. Snow, I know said... what Ramsey said. I'm saying something else. As of today, I harvest ironwood from wherever the fuck I please. And you can't do a bloody thing to stop me. Would you defy an express order from House Bolton? I've known Roose Bolton my whole life. As long as he gets his ironwood, he won't care. Especially when I tell him you've sworn to obey me. That was a sign of respect, not an oath. Well, I have what I came for. I'll leave you to your business.
I want to go back and not kiss this ring. Oh, by the way, my men have a name for you. Roderick the Ruined. Isn't that clever? What a bitch. I can't believe you would submit to him like that. I thought she would say that. I'm gonna go back. I'm not doing this. I, don't, I didn't feel good about it. I know you had your reasons, but... He doesn't deserve your obedience. If I hadn't done it, things would be worse. Maybe you're right. It was just hard to watch. My lord, are you well? I'm going to kill that man. <sighs> Fucking shit, Audrey, the worst. You can't be fighting with the other recruits. You need those men to have your back. There's enough out here trying to kill us, without trouble amongst our own. Finn's a bully. Couldn't just let him push me around. Fight every bully at Castle Black and that's all you'll ever do. I'm Garrett. Frostfinger told me about you. Seems to think you might be trouble. He doesn't know me. He's seen a thousand recruits pass through those gates. He knows you better than you think. He said... You fought for the North, with the Foresters. You were there. At the Twins. Yes. I still don't understand. Three thousand men, and not one, could save my brother. Why didn't anyone fight back? Why didn't they rally to their king? Nobody was expecting it. One minute we were drinking and telling jokes, and, and the next... The phrase cut us open. Those cowards. Couldn't face Rob like men, so they stabbed him in the back. They couldn't even give him an honorable death. Let him die fighting. Walder Frey and Roose Bolton will pay for their treachery. I'd like to believe you, but men like that don't get what they deserve. Now the Freys command River Run, and the Boltons are Wardens of the North. After what they did, it's not right. They murdered my family. I should have been there. Okay, the dog barking is where I draw the line. I'm gonna shut the door. Alright, so I have been doing some thinking, and unfortunately I am going to go back to that scene, because I felt not great about kissing the ring. But at the same time, it's like, well, I did make the decision. I am still getting married to that chick. No, I gotta live with my mistakes. All right, I'm just gonna continue. Whatever, I kneeled, kissed this ring. No one makes perfect playthroughs. This is my second objection. Free to points? Bitch. You can't be fighting with the other recruits. You need those men to have your back. There's enough out here trying to kill us. Finn's a bully. Couldn't just let him push me around. Fight every bully at Castle Black, and that's all you'll ever do. I went to school with that look. I'm Garrett. With literally, I. Frostfinger to told me about you. Seems to think you might be trouble. I'm gonna try something different, though. He won't stop bothering me. You were a squire. He thinks you have potential. 
He said you fought for the North with the Foresters. You were there at the Twins. Yes. I still don't understand. Three thousand men, and not one could save my brother. Why didn't anyone fight back? Nobody was expecting it. One minute we were drinking and telling jokes, and, and the next... The phrase cut us open. Those cowards. Couldn't face Rob like men, so they stabbed him in the back. They couldn't even give him an honorable death. Let him die fighting. Walder Frey and Roose Bolton will pay for their treachery. I'd like to believe you, but men like that don't get what they deserve. Now the Freys command River Run, and the Boltons are Wardens of the North. After what they did, it's not right. They murdered my family. I should have been there. I keep thinking if I'd been there, I could have done something. But chances are, I'd be dead too. Whatever I once thought, my place is here, with the night's nice watch. So is Garrett actually in the show? See if it is There are those here who will hate you for who you are. Southerners who will call you traitor, Northerners who will call you craven. Some won't even have a reason. They'll hate you anyway. You can't do anything about it. Trust me, I know. Why would they hate me? You're different than them. Mm. Most of the men are criminals. forced to take the black. You were a squire for a noble house. What happened to you today happened to me more times than I can count. I learned there's nothing more important than having brothers you trust. Whoa. I felt the same first time I saw it. I heard you want to be a ranger. Why? Why risk your life out there? I want to protect House Forrester. You'll protect them by doing your duty here. Not many recruits want to be rangers. They'd rather stay here where they think they'll be warm and safe. But Mance Raider marches on the wall with a hundred thousand wildlings. I've seen them for myself. The men here are murderers, thieves, rapers. You won't like most of them, and they won't like you. But they're your brothers now. Can you stand with them? Can you see past your differences? I'm not like them. I thought that once.
can't be fighting with the other recruits. You need those men to have your back. There's enough out here trying to kill us. Finn's a bully. Couldn't just let him push me around. Fight every bully at Castle Black and that's all you'll ever do. I'm Garrett. Frostfinger told me about you. Seems to think you might be trouble. He doesn't know me. He's seen a thousand recruits pass through those gates. He knows you better than you think. He said... You fought for the North, with the Foresters. You were there. At the Twins. Yes. I still don't understand. Three thousand men, and not one could save my brother. Why didn't anyone fight back? Nobody was expecting it. One minute we were drinking and telling jokes, and, and the next... The phrase cut us open. Those cowards. Couldn't face Rob like men, so they stabbed him in the back. They couldn't even give him an honorable death. Let him die fighting. Walder Frey and Roose Bolton will pay for their treachery. I'd like to believe you. But men like that don't get what they deserve. Now the Freys command River Run, and the Boltons are Wardens of the North. After what they did, it's not right. They murdered my family. I should have been there. I keep thinking if I'd been there, I could have done something. But chances are, I'd be dead too. Whatever I once thought, my place is here, with the nice watch. There are those here who will hate you for who you are. Southerners who will call you traitor, Northerners who will call you craven. Some won't even have a reason, and they'll hate you anyway. You can't do anything about it. Trust me, I know. I can't just ignore him. No good will come of doing otherwise. Most of the men are criminals forced to take the black. You were a squire for a noble house. What happened to you today happened to me more times than I can count. I learned there's nothing more important than having brothers you trust. Oh. I felt the same first time I saw it. I heard you want to be a ranger. Why? Why risk your life out there? I want to protect House Forrester. You'll protect them by doing your duty here. Not many recruits want to be rangers. They'd rather stay here where they think they'll be warm and safe. But Mance Raider marches on the wall with a hundred thousand wildlings. I've seen them for myself. The men here are murderers. Thieves, rapers. You won't like most of them, and they won't like you. But they're your brothers now. Can you stand with them? Can you see past your differences? I'll stand with them. Glad to hear it. I'd say you'll get used to the cold, but you won't. Come on. Better get by a fire, or you'll end up like Frostfinger.
I'm here. But where are you? This time of night. I'm meeting someone. It's a little late to be out, isn't it? Do you know what this uniform means? It means you serve the Lannisters. So, you best get yourself back to your chambers. And I mean, now. If you don't like it, you can take it up with the commander. Is there no way I can change your mind? Did you not hear me? At ease, Lucan. The lady is with me. Yes, sir. Enjoy your night. I hope he wasn't bothering you, my lady. I'm Damien. Thank you, Damien. It was my pleasure. Her voice, dude. You got my note. That was you. I'm very glad you could make it. I've been wanting to talk to you for quite some time. Did you search my room? What were you looking for? Nothing, Lady Mira. I only wish to leave you a note. Why the broken base? I am sorry about this, Mira. But you've made enemies of the wrong people. A handmaiden should know her place. What people? I'll make this quick if that helps. I'd hate to see you suffer. yelling. You did what you had to do, Lady Mira. You had no choice. I need to get back. Someone might see me. I'll take care of him. I know a few places in Flea Bottom. No one will ever find him. We should talk about this. Later. I'll find you. Everything all right, sir? <gasps> Damien, where are you? Ditch the knife, ditch the knife. You should have washed yourself. Keep it. Now I think about it. So they can't find the evidence.
portrait! It's you. Isn't it? Roderick. They said you were gone. Ramsey Snow did this. He did that to Ethan. You're going to hurt him, aren't you? Lord Whitehouse says you won't. Because you're a coward. But I know you will. He deserves it. I'm gonna kill Ramsey Snow for what he did. That's enough. Your little chat is over. Get out of my way. Now. I said you're done. Keep your distance or I'll drag him back to high point right now. What? I have to go back? No! I want to come home! Roderick, you should speak to Mother. Roderick? Are you going to forget about me? Are you? Of course not. I will get you back home. I promise. Please hurry. How about a storm? No, no. You've had your chance. He's a child. What harm could it do? Make it a quick one. Uh, I can't move anymore. Mother. Come join the others. He's right there. My son. But soon they'll take him from me just like before. It's happening all over again. I can see it. My father's house was once mighty like this one. But his loyalty to the Targaryens cost us dearly. I watched as countless of our kin fell. Saw our lands destroyed. Everything we clung to was ripped from our hands. I can't watch that same fate before this family. Our house. My children. They will take everything from us. Our family is strong, Mother. We will not fall. Many men are strong, and still the night takes them. You must be ready to defend us, Roderick. Your body may be damaged, but your spirit must be like iron. You let nothing stand in your way, do you understand? If you have to murder every last White Hill down to the babes in their beds, no matter what, you must do it. Promise me. I will kill anyone who stands in my way. I will do whatever it takes. Remember that. You must be ready. Promise me. We will be ready, Mother. Mira, Asher, even Garrett. They all stand with us. We are strong. How does he know about Asher? Yes. Oh, I suppose we have to be. Would you say a few words, my lord? My father. He, he was everything. Everything I ever wanted to be. He showed me what it is to be a lord. Was always honorable. I never knew a better man. And I am. I am sorry. I love you, Father. Ethan, my little brother. When I left, he was just a boy. But when his house needed him, he rose to the task, like a lord. He would have been proud. We honor Lord Gregor Forrester. My husband. My love. And our Lord Ethan. My sweet little boy. Now is time to say goodbye. Father and son are returned to the earth, to the ice. And from their sacrifice, new life begins. Iron from ice.
From eyes, from eyes, we forced us born to eyes, we all return. Father, brother, I've sworn, I've sworn to God this rest you've earned. I'd bear my neck to Swim the shivering sea. Pain slavers pay in crimson rains to bring Ethan back to me. Snow grabbed me from my mother's grasp to claim. I almost teared up. Let me tell you, singing at a funeral is not easy, especially family. I sang at my mom's and that was hard. Damn. That was good. <sighs> I'm depressed. How are you? What is going on? Roderick, you have to do something. Lord Whitehill's son has arrived. Griff Whitehill means to torment us. Nothing worse than a fourthborn with something to prove. It was bad enough when it was just the soldiers. We can't live with them under our roof. Form up and follow my lead. You'll be taking your vows. You too, Tuttle. Time to start proving you're a brother. Oh, the things we do for family. I wonder sometimes if it's worth it, all the sacrifices. Enjoy the wedding. How much further to Marine? A few days. If the Lost Legion doesn't catch up to us first. No. I overheard a couple of men whispering about Lannister Guard. They're questioning people. Is there anything else for me to be worried about? What was that? That's gonna be the end of this. Um, wow. Alright. That's a lot of people. Huh. Really? Wow. That's crazy. Not a lot of players got the marriage. For Cotter after he stole Finn's knife. Yeah. Yeah, how could you leave the coal by 
a cool boy to die. I feel I feel really dumb about this one. Who should I do it? But you know, what am I gonna do? I'm just surprised about this one really. So there was a few people that didn't get the Oh. Most people less people did this than the people that did this. That's cool. From eyes, from eyes, we forced us born to eyes, we all return. Father, brother, I've sworn, I've sworn to guard this rest you've earned. A king. Alright, that's going to be it for this uh, episode. Um, uh, stay tuned for the third injection. Alright, and as always, have a good night, have a good day, wherever you are. Adios, and I'll see you on the next one, I think. So, okay, Forrester, Ethan is canon, I'm pretty sure. Alright, peace out, y'all.